And then I always do those. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm going to pin the hair on curl the hair over to get the direction where I want my curl to go. So I go forward here. Like that. Put one grip down. One grip up to close my curl so the hair doesn't come out like that. And just take section. Oh, she got so much hair. <laughs> it's nicer to work with thick hair. Much hey? nicer to work with thick hair, especially for hair ups. Yeah, it is nice to work there. Yeah. yeah, but in this country, the hair is so fine. Mm. When you work in uh, Dubai, oh my god, yeah, the yeah, hair, yeah. very thick hair. Italy as well. Italy as well. Yeah. And they're like <laughs> big hair. In Dubai, they like the hair, the bigger it is. Yeah. <laughs> I will show you the padding they're using in, in Dubai. <laughs> you find the big padding in Dubai? I found the gold pieces there. For the, yeah, no, no, for the padding. Didn't you use that on me once, game? Hey? With that big paddle. I'm sure you used it on me once before. Maybe I did on you, yeah, because you got lots of hair, yeah. <laughs> they laugh when I use those paddles. Yeah. <laughs> if you can look in my case, maybe you could yeah. find it. It should be there. We didn't take it out before, maybe we don't use it here. I used to travel a lot abroad, but now I let Johnny do all the traveling. I've done my share of traveling. I've been around the world about three times now, so I'm a bit um, quite happy to stay home. I like armbands. <laughs> yes. wow. So can you see? This is a padding here. Where are they? Oh, they got The other one, the small one. And then this is the, p the padding in Dubai. Wow. You can see that? So look at the difference. <laughs> that just show you how much they like their hair big. So when I go to Dubai, I got to use those. Huh? Can I ask you a question? Sometimes a lot like, like they like to use donuts on top of donuts on top of donuts. Yeah. That's what I did earlier. And I used two donuts. Yeah. And I show you how to put the donut on top of the donut because. Uh, you got to go against the gravity, mm. otherwise it pulls it down. It just depends what hair the people. So I'm doing curl this time, okay? Before I was doing loops, this time I'm doing curl. Could you head that forward, please? Forward. Again, I'm using the technique of crossing over.
I used to do the BAFTA as well before, mm. but I uh, got it fed up with that because it was in February. And I used to stand outside as well with Ruby Wax when she was presenting for ETV. Once you've done a couple of years, you know, you've done it. And How did you get into uh, working with celebrities and, and Okay, I'm going to tell you, I did tell you about my life. Um, what I did, I did a show. Like the fellowship or something like that, uh, but it was in France, and L'Oreal Paris was there watching it, and um, they put me on a platform here in England because they liked the show I did in France. But I did it without money. I did it all with people from colleges, like art college and all that. So we did our own choreography. And we choose our own clothes. We borrow the clothes from young designer. We did it all ourselves. We had no budget. The model did it for nothing because they were all art students. And then, um, sorry, my fingers are getting stuck now. And then I, um, I got discovered, as I say, by L'Oreal. <coughs> then did my show in England, and they liked it. Um, I also started doing photography. I didn't, I didn't do the photography, but I sent my picture out. And some of my picture got taken by Harris Journal. And one of my pictures was bigger than the one from Trevor Sorby, um, John Frieda, maybe you're too young to know who John Frieda is, yeah. but um, on Michael John, all those people were on the same two pages, and my picture was the biggest one. And nobody knew me, so suddenly they started ringing me. Or they ran here as a journal to say, who is Guy Kramer? We never heard of him. And then, um, I'm afraid to say, but the first company who approached me, really, despite L'Oreal, wanting me to do a show, it was Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf wanted me to do... Schwarzkopf want, um, I did a photo shoot and they liked the picture and they bought the picture for advertising their perm. Mm. And they paid me good money and that's how I had the money to do picture. Mm. Uncredited L'Oreal. And I've been with L'Oreal ever since. So it's all down to L'Oreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, this is how I started, but then not only that, I got called to do a style challenge on TV. And I was working with Barbara Daly, who did the makeup for Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. And we did a team, and we had um, Ellory Alexander, who is um, a fashion designer. And, um, I think that I don't like the, the, the darkness of this. Uh, um, I'm still going to use my flowers. I like to be a bit different with the, with the tiara. I don't like to be... No, I don't like it. <laughs> I prefer my flowers. I'm sorry I'm boring you. Uh, yes, so I started doing style challenge and then Ellory Alexander liked what I did and she asked me to work for the, the um, Daily Telegraph. And I started doing shoot for the Daily Telegraph. How did you get so good at doing hair, just experiencing? And to begin, when I shoot for the hair for the Daily Telegraph, I was too heavy. So they made me undo my hair because the hair was too dumb. Mm -hmm. Fashion magazine don't like the hair to be no. dumb. But if you buy the Sunday News of the World, do you ever buy that magazine? Yeah. Sunday? Yeah. If you look in fabrics, yeah. I do lots of work for them. Oh. I'm maybe, I've been, in the last few weeks, I've been in maybe every week. We did a trip in Mexico, and I did a shoot in Mexico, so I had my work in the magazine every week. And the last one was a bit, with long hair up, it was like Frida Kahlo. Mm -hmm. um, so, we get inspired and we do theme. That is quite good to put the flowers because it gives you a red yes to the shape. Uh, one good thing about me is that I made it come out of London, which is very unusual to become known. 
when you're out of London, because normally you have to be in London when I was out of London. But I mean, I had to travel. I mean, like this morning, I had to get up at 5 o'clock to be here. So it, it is quite hard work, but um, voila, can I can start that thing. Do you like it? Yeah. You have to tell me you like it because I'm so insecure. <laughs>